Top 10 places to visit in Germany. Number 10, Zugspitze Mountain. The Zugspitze, which is part of the Westerstein mountain range, crosses the German-Austrian border and is surrounded by steep valleys. At 2,962 meters, the eastern summit is capped by a gilded cross and can be accessed by cable car or the Bayerisch Zugutspitzbahn, a cog railway. Reaching this place is not the easiest thing to do, but the view is simply breathtaking once you get here. Another fantastic way to enjoy your visit here is by hopping onto a railway named Torola Zugspitzbahn that runs to the Zugspitzkamm station, which is located at an altitude of 2,805 meters. From here, you can take a cable car to Zugspitz Wetzgipfe station, which is at an altitude of 2,950 meters. If you have breathing issues or have a height phobia, we won't recommend you to visit this place, but if it's not a problem for you, you should visit Zugspitze. Trust me, you won't regret it one bit. Number 9. The Island of Rügen The island of Rügen is not only the largest, it's also the most beautiful island among the German Baltic Islands. The Strelason separates it from the rest of Germany, and a causeway connects it to the mainland town of Streisland. The island's beauty originates from its breathtakingly beautiful landscape, which includes flat farmland and forested hills, as well as large sandy beaches, lagoons, and beautiful peninsulas. You can also witness the beautiful greenery and exotic birds at the Yasmund National Park, located at the Yasmund Peninsula. The sunset over here is so beautiful that you must take a picture of that because such beautiful sights are very rare. Number 8. The Berlin Wall The Berlin Wall does look unique with all the murals it has on its wall, but it represents a very tragic set of events. This wall separates West Germany from East Germany, and this wall has witnessed the deaths of many people who tried to escape from the East to the West. This wall is decorated with murals to honor those who lost their lives escaping from the East. Although this place is not the most beautiful on this list, and Insta snaps here won't look anything extraordinary, but if you are a fan of war history or you just want to pay tribute to the people who died during the migration, here's a fascinating fact about the wall that a lot of people aren't aware of. The 27-mile section of the Berlin Wall that separated East and West Berlin was made up of two concrete barriers separated by a 160-yard wide death strip, including hundreds of watchtowers, miles of anti-vehicle trenches, guard dogs, floodlights, and tripwire machine guns. It's a very significant German landmark. You can also visit the Berlin Wall Exhibition and Berlin War Memorial for more insight into Germany's war-related history. Number 7. Najwanstein Castle Germany has a large number of old buildings and castles. There are so many castles that you can actually buy some of them, and they are not crazy expensive as well. While some cannot be visited by tourists, some of them are open for tourists to witness the ancient and well-preserved architecture of these massive castles. Among all of these castles, Najwanstein Castle is the one you should visit, and here's why. The famous German king, Ludwig II, is said to have left the Najwanstein Castle as a memorial. It rises high atop the German Alps, a reference to every fairy tale that has been told about the place. The scenery surrounding the castle is too beautiful to be overlooked. It is located at the top of the beautiful and quaint town of Hoyenschwanger. It is well known around the world for its beautiful drawbridges and towers, which add to the castle's grandeur. To enter this castle, you will have to pay a 12 euro entry fee. Number 6. Rotenburg oder Taba Want to witness how cities and towns used to look like back in the 1600s? Well, you can head to Rotenburg oder Taba to get a little historical insight. Rotenburg or de Taba is a well-preserved historic town that looks like it was kept virtually untouched since its 30-year war of 1618. The town hall, St. James Church, City Museum, and Imperial Church are all still present in this old town. It is located on the beautiful banks of the Taba River, and this town gives you a real historical insight regarding how people used to live in the 17th century and how the architecture used to look. The walls, as well as the towers, are immaculately preserved. Walking through the streets is the most pleasing way to enjoy yourself here. If you've got more time, go to Plünlein, which is one of the town's most scenic spots. Number 5. Haida Park Resort So far, we have either sent you towards Germany's beautiful islands, scenic spots, or the old buildings and castles. If you are out on vacation, then visiting a resort to entertain yourself and your family, if you have them with you on your tour, it is a great way to make your trip to any country memorable. And if you are looking for the best resort to visit, you should head to Haida Park Resort. Located in Zaltau-Heidenhof, 
This resort is based on a massive area of 210 acres and has many amazing rides in it for you to enjoy, including one of the fastest and largest roller coasters in Europe. There are around 40 rides at this resort, and if you are a fan of horror, then do not forget to visit the horror maze if you can handle the scare. The entry fee of this resort is 40 euros. Number four, the Rhine Valley. Here we have another scenic spot that you should not miss. Valleys usually are breathtaking, but the Rhine Valley is something exceptionally beautiful. The valley is something that looks straight out of a medieval video game or movie. The Rhine is Europe's most important waterway, and apart from its significance, the Rhine is also gorgeous. With a total length of 1,320 kilometers, this picturesque river flows from Switzerland through Germany and into the Netherlands. This 65-kilometer-long valley is home to more than 40 castles and 60 beautiful ancient towns, all of which can be discovered by river crews or car. The greenery looks amazing, and it is an amazing place to sit down and relax, or maybe take some aesthetic pictures for your Instagram feed as well, if you are not into that. Number three, German Museum of Technology. If you are into science and technology, or let's just say you are a geek or a nerd, you should visit the German Museum of Technology, located in Berlin. No disrespect to my geeky viewers. Even if you are not that familiar with science and technology, this place is still really impressive. And we cannot assure you that you will be entertained here, but you will have a good time. This museum has an extensive collection of historical items on display. Founded in 1983 with the aim of exhibiting and celebrating Germans' industrial and technical strength, the German Museum of Technology is located on the grounds of the former Anhalter train yard and is one of Germany's most visited attractions. Many preserved steam locomotives and museum technology, such as automobiles and aircraft, are on display, and an antique 1930s train operates between the museum and the locomotive depot. Don't blame me if this place bores you. Not every guy likes a museum. The entry fee is 8 euros for adults and 4 euros for students. Number 2. Brandenburg Gate Coming to Germany and not visiting Berlin's famous Brandenburg Gate is like going to France and not coming to see the Eiffel Tower, or going to India and not going to the Taj Mahal. And you got the point, right? The magnificent sandstone Brandenburg Gate in Berlin's Mitte district was the city's first neoclassical monument, designed after the Acropolis in Athens and built for King Frederick William II in 1791. It stands at a towering 26 meters tall, featuring the Quadriga, a magnificent four-horse chariot with the goddess of victory perched atop. Its six massive columns on either side of the structure make five stunning passages, four for general traffic and one for royal carriages in the middle. The two buildings on either side of the gate, which toll collectors and guards previously used, are also decorated with massive door columns. This is the biggest attraction in Berlin, and many tourists start their Berlin tour from here. Number 1. Eschenheim Tower Skyscrapers are really common these days, but in Frankfurt, you will find the world's first skyscraper built in the 1400s. This 47-meter high structure never ceases to amaze with its unique dimensions. The tower, which dominates the Eschenheimer Gate District, includes a cafe and conference rooms that local historical groups and societies mostly use. Now, this might not be the highest skyscraper you'll ever see. As a matter of fact, 47 meters look small compared to the height of towers these days. But building such as towers back in the 1400s was something extremely rare. Plus, the 600-year-old tower can be a great Great place to visit for tourists who like ancient and well-preserved architecture. That's all for today. Hope you liked this video, and if you did, press the like button. If you think that we missed out on some other important places in this video, tell us about that in the comment section. Also, if you are new to this channel and haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and press the bell icon for regular updates. Till then, see ya!